Hey everybody! Music on. Welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Let's do it. Win number 10. It'll be a start. Let's be real. Ah, this is a great start. Chemical Peel Crystal Ball XXEPRX00. You know what they say if you see three X's, uh, keep going. Uh, okay. Well, that saved me a little bit of time, I suppose, with Monster Man. Well, get a book which gives us better library chances in the future, and of course, Crystal Ball. I'm just happy Crystal Ball exists here. It's like starting with, you know, Book of Revelations, um, or Satanic Bible. Except it's not guaranteed to give us a spirit heart, but let's be honest. It's, it's guaranteed to give us some spirit hearts, more or less. You know, if you take the law of large numbers into it effect and, you know, carry the one and there you go. Uh, this is a, a very strong start. Our base stats, you know, they're not gonna blow the doors off and Chemical Peel itself is not necessarily absurdly beneficial, but uh, any damage upgrade is okay. And the fact that we uh, were able to start with a space bar item as good as Crystal Ball is a huge help for the future as well. And stacking up these Spirit Arts gives us a great chance of getting a deal with the Devil. It's hard to imagine um, this one coming undone here. I don't think we have any benefit for going to the shop right now, though. Not unless we get to, uh, you know, 15 cents. And actually, I was just gonna... <laughs> in my head, I was like, should I go on a conversational thread about what if we get Petrified Poop here? It's like, nah, the odds aren't that good. Then, of course, we get Petrified Poop. Not only do we get it, we got it out of the very first uh, poop that we shot, which means that the rest of the room is open to possibly giving us some more. Uh, still a little... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say still a little skeptical, but... Uh, there we are at 15 cents after that very room. And we'll throw another bomb down. I think it pays to be a little bit more conservative here. Uh, with 20 cents, why not just head down to the next floor? We don't want to buy a portable slot. It, it has some benefits, uh, particularly that trick you can use on second secret rooms, but I don't think it's worth getting rid of Crystal Ball for. Crystal Ball is, you know, the mind and uh, the Book of Revelations and deck of cards all rolled up in one, so. Let's not, uh, let's not tempt fate there. The only thing I think I might buy there is a key, but, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Pills, not particularly interested. A single penny, not particularly interested. And nothing else over here. Well, second secret room doesn't bother me too much either, so, um, blind rage. It's a little bit of like a... You know, this is a personal barometer question. It's not like a personal question, like, hey... How big is your Johnson? No, it's like a, a question of what do you value in Isaac? Because we could use Crystal Ball right now and then get that much closer to an actual charge. Wow, nice uh, bomb placement there. Who are you? Me a year and a half ago? Screw's pretty good. Or we could just save it for the next floor and then get mapping and plan accordingly. I'd rather, I think we get more for, by saving it for the next floor, but we'll see. Uh, okay, well, if we're gonna go into the curse room, we might as well do it now, and that actually turned out to be a very shrewd move. Get ceremonial robes and a battery charge, which gives us a teleport card? A chariot. Look, would you rather take half a black card of damage or get a few free plays on our blood bank here? I think in the end, possibly we would have preferred the blood bank plays, and we got lucky that it just paid out in this fashion, but that's okay as well. So that blood bag, or blood bank, I should say, is already gone. Um, but ceremonial robes... Oh, that was real bad. Ceremonial robes plus... Uh, plus the upgrade that we got uh, on the last floor in the form of the screw is really strong here. I think we do want to use a bomb here. My reasoning is we have petrified poop. So for this bomb, we don't only get a battery charge, but we also get whatever else we can find in here. So... I mean, it ended up literally just being that battery charge, which was kind of a bummer, but life goes on. Then we do this one, we get a bomb. Oh, two of diamonds is huge. And then, you know, more red hearts. Okay, there we go. Finally, we got a penny and another penny and some more red hearts. Uh, we can get some more money with blood or IV bag that we already picked up, but I don't think it's super necessary or relevant to our uh, situation at hand. Maybe, maybe not. We do want to make sure that we can go to our shop. Odds are decent there's going to be a key for sale in there. And then, uh, you know, two of diamonds, of course, benefits from being there. Go to our secret room, because if we get money on our secret room, all money is effectively doubled right now. And there, there might be a little money here. I think we'll keep petrified poop for now. More bombs, more keys. No money, that's all right. A little bit of money there. Capricorn is an awesome all-stats improvement, so I'm... Stoked to have it, and really, like, we're making all the right moves here. 
We're saying all the right things at exactly the right time, and we're gonna win ten times in a row. I think. <laughs> okay. Womp bump ba dum. I need a button that gives me. I mean, obviously, we're gonna use the Emperor card to be real with you, but. Um, I need a button that gives me, like, the price is right sad trombone sounds for when people lose uh, on demand. I already have the laugh button, in case you've forgotten what that sounds like. It's a little bit like this. But you know what? It's all, like, that's some old ass business that Price is Right sad trombone. I guarantee that shit is proprietary and, like, the dude who composed that four second long piece has made, like, 800 grand in royalties on it. And by guarantee, I mean I have no fucking idea, and I'm talking out of my ass, but I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna, I'm gonna appeal to my authority here as if I do. So car battery, I mean it's actually really good in many situations, and this is one of them. If I may uh, structure that sentence in like the most awkward way that I could possibly muster. Uh, it's gonna be nice with crystal ball, it doesn't give us double the mapping effect of course, but it does give us double the, uh, you know, the payout from whatever we get otherwise from it, and if we get other spacebar items, then, you know, it, it may have a variable impact as well. I think we've got a, a decent enough situation to take the shovel, and we're gonna stick with Crystal Ball. I mean, we might as well, like, use the shovel, I suppose. Yeah, that's exactly why. We paid for it. And, um... Some luck upgrades wouldn't be the worst thing in the world here. No luck upgrades, but at least extra money, some bombs. Life goes on. What's this Emperor card for? I mean, teleport out of boss rush doesn't seem out of the uh, out of the bounds of realism, I'd say. Or we could just teleport out of this room early. Ah, I don't think it's worth it. I, I will admit I was like 5149 on that. I wasn't 5050. You know, I want you to think that when I come up with something like 5050 or you know 7525, 5149, I'm actually crunching the numbers. And I am, in some ways, crunching the numbers. I was leaning very slightly towards not doing it, but I was like, ah, maybe we'll do it anyway. It is more valuable to save it. And, you know, we can if we save it, we can always use it later. That's the thing, man. That's the thing about saving anything. Including saving money, you know? If you spend the money, it's gone, and you get an item. If you save it, you can still use it for anything. Now, that might sound boring, but, you know, as your internet father, I'm here to tell you. That's important. Get your money working for you. By hiring cheap cheap offshore labor to, you know, do your duties for you. That's what I'm trying to say here is move all your jobs out of your home. No, I'm just I'm just shitballing right now, which is the combination of spitballing and shitposting. I don't know what shitposting is, because sometimes like I make a joke. I guess I'm not down with the internet slang these days. I make a joke, and people go, nice shit post. And I was like, it's not really a shit post. I mean, it wasn't serious. It was just meant as a joke. They're calling it a shit post is like a little... It's a little insulting to the craft of, of comedy, isn't it? I mean, I consider myself an artiste. Oh, hello, Kate. Hello. This is a good time for my uh, autograph. I am your greatest fan. There you go. Thank you. You're the best. No problem. It really makes you feel like a, a big businessman when you're in the middle of working and somebody comes in with a check for you to sign. It's like, am I some, do you ever see like a, you know, uh, Roy Jones Jr. or something like that giving an interview and then people are just like, hey sir, you wanna buy this uh, gold bracelet? And he's like, yeah, no problem. I mean, I was giving an interview to the New York Times, but sure, I'll take the bracelet. It, it pretty much feels like that, except, uh, you know, not like literally making $100 million a year. That would be sick though. Um, the Hermit is also good. Game Kid is not really. I don't even know if with double impact this does anything for us. So we can get Blank Card. I think we'll buy the map, even though, ostensibly, the map doesn't seem like it would be that useful, considering that we're... Uh, already rolling Crystal Ball, but, you know, it's 15 cents that we can afford to spend, let's put it that way. And we chose to use the Hermit so we can keep the Emperor for later. Which is weird, because the Emperor is better... Or sorry, the, the Hermit is better as a teleportation card for Boss Rush. But you can't... Like, if we pop the Emperor, we'd go fight the boss, then we'd be like, alright, time to walk back get the Hermit card anyway. You know, it's... Doesn't seem like that's the right call. It's not like we're going slowly here, though. We're, we're making pretty okay time. Um, have we been to the Secret Room? I can't remember. 
I don't think so, though. Luck up, no luck up. We have not been to the secret room. I'm At this point, we have so much money and we've had so much money for so long that I'm like, why waste a bomb to try to get more money? It doesn't seem right, you know? So we had Game Kid in our item room. We don't care about it. No offense, Mint, of course. Uh, we're pretty much just working our way down here. What do we need on this run to succeed? One of those weird runs in which we, we pretty much have a little bit of everything right now. You know when you go to a buffet... And you're like, well, there's a little bit of everything, but none of it is really that good. Like, I feel like if you're really into buffets, it's for the gluttony aspect. I'm not trying to say that you're a glutton. I'm trying to, you know, maybe you appreciate a good value, you know? You're like, for 15 bucks, I can get one of every food instead of for 10 bucks getting one of one food, right? I can understand that mindset. But we've got, like, a pretty good budget. This is like a premium budget where you're like, or a premium buffet, I mean to say. Did I say budget the whole time? Um... It's like a premium buffet, if you will, you know? It's like 90% as good as authentic versions of that food. So we could use like a little bit of specialization. Okay, this is actually amazing. We, we, we might as well get black powder, because we get black powder for free. Then I think you get Death's Touch, and then I think you go all in and you take Incubus as well. We're gonna head down to the next floor. We're this is our specialization. Now instead of being just a generic buffet, we're the place where shit is spicy as all get out. Basically meaning we are dealing a fuck ton of damage. So I am thrilled with that. A little scared about our HP, but you know, this is why. This is why you play in this much Isaac, so that you got, you know, situations like this, you feel comfortable in your ability to survive, despite the fact that. A little bit lower on the HP front. Let's keep in mind as well, we do have uh, the Crystal Ball car battery here. Which, Crystal Ball car battery sounds like a fucking... They Might Be giant song about like a... I don't know. A stripper who lives in a trailer park. Let's be honest. Crystal Ball car battery? You could write that song. I'm not gonna write that song. But you can write that song. And you only have to give me... 100% of the royalties. Sorry, there's precedent. Thanks a lot, uh, Rolling Stones with Bittersweet Symphony. Okay, this is definitely the way we want to do this. I would love some guppy items. That is not a guppy item, that is a troll bomb. We actually are a little slow right now, and I know you're saying, yeah, NL, you're a little slow. We get it. Well, you know what? You're a little slow. They've been making that joke for, you know, five years of YouTube content here, all right? You're late to the party. But that's okay, because the party's going all night, baby, or at least for the next 14 minutes until this run is over. All night long, all night. If you slow the video down to about one-tenth speed, you could watch it all night long, all night. We probably will not get to deal with the devil here. I've played pretty poorly on this floor, by the way. We're lucky that we're not getting punished for it. A speed upgrade is pretty much exactly what we could have wanted there. I mean, uh, Magic Mush, obviously. If you're gonna bring Sylvester, you, then yeah, Magic Mush would be a little better, I suppose. But uh, it's not a big problem, you know what I mean? Kind of missing the Sylvester impression here, but it's going a little too low. He's got a little too much Alan Thicke in it, right? You got uh, Mickey, what do you mean you want me to pull out my dingus? I thought we were boxing here. All right. No spirit arts there. We got a second emperor and a joker. Well, I mean, the joker is a better teleport card. There is a dice room. And that's a little scary. I was only half joking, by the way. When First off, none of my impressions are great. I think that's fair. But I can only keep, like, one impression in my brain at all times, and I don't know what it is sometimes. As ridiculous as that may sound, this 48-hour energy may guarantee us the win. We were probably in a good spot regardless, but that helps out a ton. Sometimes, I'm like, man, I, I can't do a Michael Caine impression today. I don't know why. Instead, someone will be like, hey, how does Hugh Jackman sound? And I'll be like, listen, bub. And then I'm like, whoa, Hugh Jackman! <laughs> I didn't know I could do that impression at the cost of losing all of my other ones. That's not a good Hugh Jackman impression, by the way. I wish Hugh Jackman would just get Canadian citizenship, because, like, he's made his biggest mark on Hollywood by playing a Canadian man. So, like, come on, dude. Come on, dude. 
I'm gonna be straight with you, we could have done that, uh, four room a lot better, but it would have been somewhat laborious. And, I'm not a laborious man, okay? I'm a man who takes it easy like the Eagles' first single. And I think that was the Eagles' first single. I know that because I, uh, went to the Eagles' Wikipedia article the other day. Because that's who I am. I was actually, I also tweeted the other day, I was like, Hey, does anyone have some beginner projects for, like, Raspberry Pi? Raspberry Pi is basically a, a little tiny... It's, n it's not just a processor, but it's not really like a comp it's It's like a small board that you can mount chips and sensors on, basically, for computer programming projects that also have some kind of hardware element to them as well. I'm just gonna blow this guy up for a better deal with the Devil Chance, and Burkano is fine. And what I decided on, before I said to myself, wait a minute, this thing already exists. That doesn't mean it's not worth making, because at least you'll learn something in the process of making it, but... I was like, what if I made, like, I get, like, a little $70 Raspberry Pi touchscreen, and, uh... Every morning, when I woke up, I could just look at it, and it would show me, like, a random Wikipedia article. I was like, yeah, that's really cool, you know, learn to use the Wikipedia API, or at least just open a web browser or something like that. It could be a cool personal project. And I realized I could literally just do that by walking to my computer. I think we're gonna stick with Crystal Ball, but Guppy's head is very well uh, respected here. I appreciate the extra Guppy item, and with car battery, it's quite good as well, but... I was like, I could literally accomplish that just by walking to my computer and hitting random on Wikipedia. Yeah, but then I didn't make it myself. You could go to Ikea and you could buy a, you know, a fart, a spice rack or something like that. Ooh, another guppy item. But, um, you know, you lose out on the value of making it yourself. Start with your head, homie, then use your hands. If you try it in reverse, you don't even have a chance. That's Bun B off of the 2007 remix of MIA's Paper Planes. Anyway, I may still do it, though. We'll see. Other things people suggested, they're like, why don't you make an automatic door opener so you don't have to open your door for your cats? You don't understand. I don't, I don't want my cats to have the agency to be able to open this door by themselves. We will just hear meowing all night. I think it would be a, a recipe for potential disaster. We have another dice room. Don't do me dirty with the dice room ditty. Don't do me dirty with the dice room ditty. You remember that classic jam from, uh, apparently based on the orchestration of that song, the year uh, 1865. Don't do me dirty with the dice room ditty. That's going to be stuck in my head forever now. I mean, you might be saying, NL, remember last summer you had, I'm so fancy, or I'm so thirsty, you already know, 64 ounces daily of life given H2O. That was because I, um, I mean, I think we do want to do this, but we need a teleport card. Shit. <laughs> Please give me a teleport card. The lovers. The hermit. There we go. Okay, we can do it now. Um, and I think we can, we can get two boss rooms. Two boss rushes, but we're gonna have to be like real freaking fast here. Um, I'm I'm not down with the summer jams anymore because I've been listening to classic rock radio, so I I really don't know what the kids are listening to these days. Only recently did I you know hear that song you know boom that's the sound of my heart going on and on and on and and I'm like, hey kids aren't I hip and trendy? And then they're like that song came out in 2004 or 2014. I was 14 then, I'm 16 now, a lot's changed. Like it's, there's, there's new music ever. I think we should just take one year off from music. That way, you know, everybody can at least catch up. And then, you can't use the there's too much music excuse anymore. You'll be like, okay, what about 2017 though, where no music came out and we all gave you a chance to catch up. That would work for me. The most recent song with which I'm intimately familiar is, uh... Uncle Cracker's magnum opus from 2001, Follow Me. Follow me, everything is on. Yeah, we'll take soy milk. You know why we're gonna take soy milk? Because I'm not a little baby back bitch, okay? We're gonna take soy milk because we've got Death's Touch. It's actually like a, it's a pretty good option for us to begin with, but also we're gonna take it um, because I'm not a little baby back bitch. I wanna have fun on this run. That being said, I'm, I'm a little, uh, to be honest, with you, a little bit scared based on the fact that uh, we also have fruitcake. So we're going to be shooting a lot of Ipecac shots, and we've also got Incubus. He's going to be shooting a lot of Ipecac shots. But uh, I think we're going to be able to get a free 
Boss Rush out of this as well. And you know, our Spirit Heart still should stay relatively good for us too. And... I mean... Of course... Kind of want to go to the boss... Or the... The item room down here. But you know what? It's looking increasingly unlikely. Uh, you shot without opening your body. Sun card. It does, it does make it easier. I can't deny that. Yeah, we can probably make it. I don't think we'll be able to go to the shop, which sucks because we got 99 cents, but that's okay. Sad Onion. Hilarious. I don't know if this affects our run at all, because I think we were already in a pretty, uh, like, we're at the tier cap, right? Like, we must have been. I think we can do this. Like, get to the boss fight, that is. Get to boss rush. I don't know how much time we're gonna need. I wish I could stop blowing up these skulls, but... I don't know how much time we're gonna need to kill, uh... Mom, but I expect it can't be that much time as long as we're getting, you know, holy light shout, uh, shots out of our asshole. Explosivo shots, etc, etc. Okay, I guess if we blow up the room, that makes our life a little easier. Unlimited bombs, do not care. Do not care. Excuse me. Got a little bit of, you know, there's a timing issue related here. I'm not going to use the crystal ball yet. I think we can afford to wait on it till the next floor in the hopes of getting better mapping. Alright, let's do this. As many shots in the sky as possible. This is going fine. Oh, we got a serpent's kiss, I think, in there as well. Grab this. Check the deal with the devil. Become Guppy. Grab this. What do we got here? The devil. Nah, it's not necessary, but we're going to be able to get it on the way out anyway. And then inside of here, you want Rodden, baby? Like summoning one fly, I guess? Come back here, grab your devil card. Head down to the next floor. Obviously, we're in a ridiculously good situation now. And I'm pretty stoked. Keep in mind, we also bought a hive mind super early. And that was mostly just because we had the money for it, but uh, it is now paying with like ridiculous dividends. Two of spades, the sun card. Do you care about the sun card versus the devil card? It shouldn't matter much. Because our damage is so strong, like, especially bosses are just going to be shit up, shit upon. I do wish our HP was a little better, but, you know, that that's the trade-off for when we get cards out of Crystal Ball. If we get cards, we're not going to get as many Spirit Arts, but those cards could be, you know, valuable in their own way as well. Which is, I mean, fairly clearly working out alright for us right now. It's really just these Ipecac shots we have to be careful of, and... Unfortunately, they have burned me a little bit here, but... Maybe it's because I've allowed myself to be burned by them. Two extra spirit hearts. That's how quickly it can shift. Now we're not worried about our HP at all. And then, you know, we take another couple of hits in here. Now we're worried about our HP again. That's the circle of Isaac. I'm not Elton John, okay? As much as I wish before bed every day and every night that I was. I'm going to take a Thame because this run is like in... Oh, there was a spirit heart in there. Because this run is in full-on ridiculous territory. So, you know, why not... Take it to the next level. Are we going to do the hush fight? I think if we can get up to like, you know, 10 HP, not even max, just 10, I think we should. Could be fun. Uh, we're a little bit behind that we don't have keys. We only have three keys. But we'll see. I think 10 is not out of the question for us if we find, you know, a tinted rock. Or two, and, uh... Well, Serpent's Kiss helping out as well. Stuff like that. There's a chest back here. No more keys, but a bomb may actually grant us keys in the future. But I wouldn't hold your breath for the, uh... Ooh, careful. I wouldn't hold your breath for the Hush fight. It's one... The, the fight is basically static in the sense that its requirements... Do not change, regardless of your damage, most of the time. You still need a certain amount of HP to make it happen. And that is not gonna help. Bad habit, uh, and a hard habit to break. Not shooting when there's no reason to shoot. But, you know, when you don't have Ipecac, you're like, okay, let's, you know, no worries, right? 
But we do sort of have Ipecac here. We have to treat this as if we have Ipecac. Okay, somehow our Fly Halo protected us from getting hit there. It's going to be like six and a half HP and then a possible deal with the Devil here as well. I really thought that we were not going to have to fight any extra enemies. I assumed the Flawless was in the cards for us. Not Flawless, too much Gungeon. I assumed like the, the boss kill was in the cards for us. We do get a deal with the Devil. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we can already fly, so I guess you just take Abaddon. And fuck it, we're at nine and a half HP. What kind of person would I be if at 9.5 HP I didn't come down here and check this out, right? I said we needed 10, we're at 9.5. Sorry, didn't quite have enough. Um, Watch out for the Ipecac action. There we go, now we're at 10.5. Then you buy the broken stopwatch. And then you buy the key. I don't think you need red candle. Honestly, I think maybe you get Loki's horns. And I just realized that's a terrible decision with fruitcake. Sweet. You know what? I can't bring myself to do it. I thought about doing it. Well, the Yara rune is reason enough to come down here, but I thought about doing it, taking Epic Fetus, but then I'm like, nah, it's gonna ruin my sweet, you know, soy milk um, incubus action here, and I don't, I don't want to do that. I thought maybe you could have a cool synergy, but I, I honestly don't think it would. I think it would just basically ruin the good thing we got going for us here. So the damage is really good right off the bat here. Is this guy slow because of broken stopwatch? If so, that's like the most value I've ever gotten out of a 7 cent purchase in my entire life. Still gonna be kind of a slow boss fight. And that's just the reality of what we're living in here. If you're living in the world today, you be hearing the slang that the Wu-Tang say. People that front, we don't have them. So we blast them. All right? Well, okay. Uh, we shouldn't stand next to the wall. Even though sometimes that's the safest spot, uh, we can't rely on that this time because we have uh, Fruitcake and then Loki's Horns. Loki's Horns was definitely the wrong selection. We should have gone dry, baby. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess that we have cool tier effects, so we'll have more cool tier effects as a result. Not a smart call. Come on, Hush. This is getting a little ridiculous. We do have a Demon Heart down there already. Holy Light shots. Explosivo shots. You know, it's all good stuff, but just use like a little bit more of it. I think because of uh, his being slow, he actually cannot hit us with Continuum Shots, as long as we stand far enough away, so that's, uh, that's pretty solid. We got three Demon Hearts in there. We ran through there, definitely should have been hit, but we're not hit. Life's good. That song's not by the Eagles, that one's just by Joe Walsh, as Austin will be happy to tell you. Stoked to have the luck upgrades. Stoked to have the luck ups, everybody knows that stoked. And to have the luck of... Okay, that's not a very good one either. Musical reference is not on point today. But really, I don't know what's what's hot this summer. Like, I should just go to, like, the Billboard Hot 200 right now. And this is not like, oh, you... I don't listen to mainstream music. Because I do listen to mainstream music. It's just mainstream music that was mainstream in, like, you know, 1974. It doesn't make me, like, a more cultured individual. It just makes me a different kind of individual. But, um... I gotta go see what's what's on the the Billboard Hot 200 right now. Is Bell and Sebastian still up there? I re-listened to If You're Feeling Sinister, one of 1996's best albums, the other day, and I was like, this shit is pretty dope. All right, you're, you're welcome to a new segment. This this one's called Northern Lion reads the Billboard Hot 200. Billboard Hot 100. I guess it's the Hot 100. All right, here we go. Cheap thrills. Sia featuring Sean Paul. Are you fucking kidding me? Sean Paul is back on the top of the... Of the world? One Dance. Drake featuring WizKid and Kyla. Do not know it, even though Drake's Canadian. This is what you came for. Calvin Harris featuring Rihanna. Can't Stop the Feeling. Justin Timberlake. Don't know it. Don't Let Me Down. The Chainsmokers featuring Daya. Don't know it. Ride. 21 Pounds. Don't know it. Needed me, don't know it. Send my love to your new lover, don't know it. Rise, Katy Perry. Okay, I'm just going to go down. Which one do I know here? 
Still going down for free. DJ Khaled featuring Drake. I do not know it. Work. Okay, I know that song. Because it goes, oh, work, 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 work. That's a, that's a big one. Um... Broccoli by Dram featuring Lil Yachty. I don't know what any of this means anymore. Close by Nick Jonas featuring Tove Lo. Who are these people? I know Nick Jonas. He's got pepperoni nipples, according to Michael A.L. Fox. All these names sound like they're made up. I guess they are. Man, I'm like way out of control here. I gotta get down with the new hotness. I'm so far behind. Blake Shelton, 75. She's got a way with words. All right. I know like four songs on the hot Billboard Hot 100. See, I have to think about this because this is relevant for me as a content creator. You know, right now, I get by by appealing to 90s and early two early <laughs> early 2000s, early 2000s nostalgia. But eventually, you know. You guys are going to grow up and have kids or, you know, whatever. You know, we're all going to be taken over by robots eventually, so don't get too attached to it. But, like, then there's going to be, you know, a new generation of 15-year-olds that are, or like, 25-year-olds that are going to be like, Hey, talk about that song by Fetty Wap. And I'm going to be like, I don't know who that is. Do you want to talk about Kid Rock again? And they're like, Kid Rock is my granddad's favorite artist. I'll be like, oh, fuck. What have we done? So I, I think that's my homework for this next week, is listen to every song on the Billboard Hot 100. I know some songs from last summer. There was, you know, Cool for the Summer by Demi Lovato. Take Me Down Into Your Paradise. Let's Make Love Because You're My Body Type. Which, I mean, I guess is as good a reason as any, you know. And then there was that song, you know, Cheerleader. You know, Ooh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She is always right there when I need her. I don't, but I'm I'm out of touch when it comes to the other ones. You know what song is great though? Out of touch by uh, Hall and Oates. At you're out of touch. I'm out of time. That one should be number one. But also, can we talk about the fact that Sean Paul's back on top? Is it the same Sean Paul? That's like, for me, that's like if I just went to the fucking Billboard Hot 100. And then, I don't know, like, Ja Rule was at the top of the leaderboards. I'd be like, what is going on? Mini Mush, um, Lost Fly. We did get the Beelzebub transformation. We get the Mind, which does, like, nothing for us. Basically, we're just looking for extra keys at this point. But we're going to get the easy win here, which is nice. Win 10. I mean, it's not that special. 10 wins in a row. It's, it's just a GD start for the most part, but uh, feels okay. Start to Start to rack up some more wins here. The body is actually probably like a negative thing for us to have. But we do have the mind, and you remember what uh, Mor Morpheus said, the body cannot live without the mind, so this seems good for us. And considering that we have a hush fight in here, and we technically went to boss rush twice, I'm pretty stoked about the fact that this run is still, you know, under a half hour long, at least in game time. Looks like it's like 33 minutes in terms of recording, but... For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my trip into contemporary relevancy. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. I'm going to take a little stretch. Stretching is important. And I'll see you guys next time.